this video is going to talk about certain advanced Outlook features. And this is the second Outlook video tutorial from the series of Outlook video tutorials. Microsoft Outlook is a premium tool for communication via email. It has advanced features which can help you organize emails, calendars, searches, and network better. This tool is designed to fulfill your digital communication and networking needs, primarily at workplace, but it is also used at schools and homes. Over 500 million users of Microsoft Outlook send emails, use calendars, and complete other such tasks within seconds with the aid of Outlook. In this video, we're going to cover some useful advanced features of Outlook such as how to find contacts in seconds, sending SMS using Outlook, emailing business cards, quick parts and its usage. So now let's look at a first topic which is finding a contact in milliseconds. In order to quickly find a contact in Outlook, we need to simply press F11 and type the name of the contact. Or we can just click on Find a Contact under the Home tab under Find. A window will pop up with the contact information of the specified person. So let me show you how we can do that. So let's go to the Home tab and under Find, click on where it says Find a Contact and type in the name of the contact and hit Enter. Once you do that, another window would pop up and it contains the contact details of the person. And if you would like to close it, either you can click here or you can simply press ESC. So this is how you can quickly find a contact in your address book. Now let's learn how to send SMS using Outlook. We may not be aware that it is possible to send text messages from Outlook Mail, but it is actually possible. However, receiver may need to pay for the message. In addition, as a sender, we need to know the service provider of the receiver as well as the special domain name of that service provider used by the receiver. In order to send the message, we simply need to press Control shift m or click on the new email button under the home tab. Then we can simply type the cell number and then at the rate then type in the special domain name of the service provider. For instance if you're sending it to a mobile number which starts with 988 then type in the entire mobile number then type in at the rate of and then type in the name of the service provider which is Airtel Lab Dot com and type in the message which you would like to send and simply click on send. So let me show you how we can do that. Go ahead and press Control Shift M on the keyboard. And once you do that, a new email would appear. Go ahead and type in the phone number to which you would like to send the email. And type in at the rate of and the name of the service provider dot com. And then just type in the message which you'd like to send to the receiver. And then you can simply press send and it'll go to that particular person. Now let's learn how to email business cards. Outlook allows us to send business cards via email just like when people meet each other they share their visiting cards. Through Outlook we can send somebody else's business card via email as well. If the recipient is using any modern email program, he or she will be able to save the contact details. Once the contact details appear in the body of the email, a .vcf file shows up as attachment. So I'm going to tell you how we can insert business card 
in the body of an email so that you can quickly email your or somebody else's business card. Once you have a new email open, click on where you would like to insert the business card. Ensure that that's exactly where your cursor is. Once you've done that, click on the Message tab and under Include, click on Attach Item drop-down. In that, three options would appear. Click on Business Card and then click on Other Business Cards. And then go ahead and select the name of the employee for which you would like to share the business card and click OK. Once you do that, notice the business card has appeared in the body of the email and an attachment has appeared with a .vcf extension. So you can simply now fill in the rest of the details and send this business card to whoever you would like to send it to. So now we are going to look at quick parts. There are times when the user needs to send similar mails on period basis with minor changes to the same group of people or different group of people. It could be a cumbersome task to search through the mailbox for that message, say every month or even weekly if, if the mail volume is high. This is where quick parts can come in handy. User needs to type the message exactly the way he she wants to send it, including or excluding the subject and the two fields, as these fields are not picked up by quick parts. But the user definitely needs to type the body of this text as is. So I'm going to quickly take you through quick parts. So go ahead and open a new email. And in that, go ahead and type in the body of the email. And then select the text in the body of the email. Go to the Insert tab and under Text, click on the drop down of Quick Parts and then click on Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. Assign an appropriate name to this and then click OK. Once that is done, go ahead and close the email. You don't necessarily need to save changes to this email. Then go ahead and click on New Email again under the Home tab. And then click in the body of the email, click on Insert, and under Text, go to Quick Parts. And in that, select the quick part that you would like to use. And here you go. It has appeared. So this can save a lot of time for you. Hope this was useful. This video was brought to you by CXO Learning Academy, a premier learning initiative by CXO Math. For any queries, you can email us at learning at cxomath.com. Thank you.